What's up, everybody? Does scrubbing feel like a workout? Scrub less with Don Platinum. Its superior formula breaks down and removes... What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video, the everyday carry for 2022. You think that's good, Peter? Well, I'm about to show you how a real pirate does their everyday carry in 2022. Now, first and foremost, I am a photographer, and if I'm going to call myself a photographer, I am going to be carrying a camera as much as I possibly can. So my everyday carry camera is a nine-year-old Ricoh GR point-and-shoot camera. And the point of this is not to shoot professional work, but I walk the dog with this camera. I go to the store with it just in case anything at all crops up. I take this to, to parties or gatherings or anything, so then I'm not showing up with a massive DSLR looking like a complete weirdo. I break this out as and when needed, and I much prefer using it to my phone. It's not that it's necessarily a better camera, I just like shooting with an actual camera more than my phone. The only downside to this is it is not at all weather sealed, and it is extremely prone to dust getting in this very exposed lens area. So for that reason, it does not come out when it's snowing, like it is today, or raining. But it rarely does that in Colorado. Most of the time, I can carry this. Item number two is the trusty pocket knife. This is an Openel number four, made in France. It's a uh, maybe $20 knife. It's sharp, fits in my pocket, looks pretty good, does the job, and a knife connoisseur will appreciate this for the nice little cheap French knife that it is. I've been carrying this knife for a few years now. Grooms at weddings have noticed it, they have appreciated it. It does need cleaned right now. It doesn't particularly need sharpening, which is surprising for me, maybe having sharpened it once in the four years that I've had it. Number three on the list is my wallet. It's a wallet, not a minimal wallet, nothing metal, nothing techy. It was given to, my, given to me by my wife. It is made by Cole Han. It's probably not real leather. I always carry $28 in here because $28 will mostly fill my, ta my tank and will probably get me a cheap meal on the way home as well. Next thing on the list is my trusty iPhone 7 with a $10 Amazon rubber case made by Makeki. <laughs> this phone was bought refurbished. It does the job. It has apps. It does all the things I need it to do. And when I can afford one and have plenty of disposable income, I will get an iPhone 13, whatever, whatever number is out just now. The next thing, of course, is the all-important keychain. I have a Volkswagen keychain, and it is attached to my Subaru Forester 2014 base model keys. My favourite thing about this 2014 Subaru Forester is that it's a stick shift. One of the best security systems that you could have in America in your car. I've just noticed that this has a panic button on it. It sets off the alarm to the car, that's interesting. I do not have a video light in my EDC, I have a window light, so when the light changes, that, that's what happens. Oh, I almost forgot the watch. This is a very important part of the EDC. It's a Timex watch with a crack on the screen. It was about $90 and I've had it for maybe three years now. My wife also got me this as a gift, and I wear it to weddings and everything, and it looks okay, but it's kind of beaten up. You can change the strap out. It also came with a black strap, so if I'm wearing black shoes or a black belt, I can match the watch to my uh, outfit. So that's fun. And I think a watch is an important part of any man's outfit slash get up in order to look like a grown-ass person, says the guy with a $90 Timex on his wrist. So now we're moving out of the realms of what's in my pockets and more into the realms of what is just around me on my desk most of the time. Number one thing is a field notes book. I, about a year ago, took this advice from Peter McKinnon when he made a video about writing stuff down. Ever since then, I have wrote eight things to do every single day and checked my way off that list. I used to do it on my phone, and I did do similar stuff, but then sometimes I'd have like five things in a day, sometimes I'd have 12, and having the eight 
it's kind of nice and handy. Making this video is one of those eight things. So once I've done this, I'll be able to check it off. And if I'm gonna check things off my list, I'm gonna need a pen. I like to use this yellow plastic Camp Zeek branded pen. I was the photographer for Camp Zeek for three years. It was a fantastic learning experience in photography for me. And it just so happens that their branded pens write beautifully. I actually have to distribute one of these to my wife every once in a while because she will steal my Camp Zeek branded pen. Even though there are a million other pens lying around this house, she likes to write with the Camp Zeek one too. So I ration these out. There's always one at my wife's desk. There's one in my big camera bag, which I take to weddings. And there's one clipped to my field book every day. And the final thing is this flashlight. I'm not someone who carries a flashlight around in my pocket all the time. I would probably just use my phone if I had to, but I do keep this nearby. I have a couple dark corners under my desk where I keep some camera gear. And this is very useful for finding random things in there. So I wonder what Peter McKinnon would think of my EDC equipment. I think it might give him a little bit of anxiety because it's not coordinated or nice or probably as functional as his. Not that I'm jealous of his EDC stuff either. It's all good. He earned it. He deserves that. Okay, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I know this is not the usual photography related type stuff, but it did feature a camera. So I think that sort of counts it into my street photography, photography type videos. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.